Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 26120.470 or version 24H2. If you don't know yet, Microsoft is starting to test out features for Windows 11 24H2 with an enablement package that will be applied in this build. I think this is good because updates and new builds in the dev channel will be installed faster and we will be able to test features easier. But to test the latest features, always make sure to have this toggle turned on and check for updates. So in this video, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in this build, Microsoft includes a small set of general improvements and fixes that improve the overall experience for insiders running this build on their PCs. Related to the settings app, Microsoft is introducing a new Game Pass recommendation card on the settings homepage. The Game Pass recommendation card on settings homepage will be shown to you if you actively play games on your PC. As a reminder, the settings homepage will be shown only on the Home and Pro editions of Windows 11 and if you're signed into Windows with a Microsoft account. I'm also going to talk about the recent snipping tool and paint app updates because even though they started rolling out a few days ago, I'm going to have to mention them here. So related to the snipping tool app, Microsoft is introducing a few new interesting things. For example, if you go into this shape thing, soon enough, you're going to have the option to add emojis here and I think that is pretty interesting. Also, the new ability to scan for QR codes or text has been added as you can see with this button. And related to shapes, Microsoft added some more improvements that will help us use shapes better alongside with the ruler tool and I think that is pretty interesting. And in the paint app, we only have a small thing which is basically Microsoft renaming paint co-creator to image co-creator and this of course is the tool that you can find in paint which will create images for you using AI. I think that is pretty interesting. You can input here a quick description, for example, a lion in a forest, then select the style that you want, for example, charcoal, and then create, and we can see what image creator will generate. And for example, we can select this one, and as you can see, it's looking pretty good, and it's nice to have a feature like this inside Paint. Now, talking about some fixes in this build, Microsoft fixed the issue causing some insiders to experience an install error trying to install the previous build in the dev channel. And we also have some other fixes, I'm only going to mention a few of those, maybe are slightly more important. For example, in the settings app, Microsoft addressed an issue that made the settings app to stop responding when you use it to remove Bluetooth devices. And also this update addresses an issue that stops some apps and features from being available. This occurs after you upgrade to Windows 11. So basically this is all there is to it in this latest dev channel build. I'm hoping that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Mario from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.